All right, here we go. More Alone in the Dark. The support on this series up to this point. The likes, the views, everything just mean a lot to me. Thank you for everything. These longer videos, I feel like, are great for this type of game because a lot of puzzles, a lot of me, like, trying to figure everything out, you know? So, <laughs> anyways, love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. So, this door opened up, which is good, I guess, for what it is, you know? <laughs> I fully use that auto aim <laughs> to like help me there. Another one with nothing? Okay. Blood trail going that way. That's not good. I like this game a lot. It's just a unique vibe to it. I'm enjoying every time I've played it so far. We have that there. We can also move this around, it looks like. What is this? Key item. The horizon, okay. Lens crafted with unexpected precision. Okay. Hold on, before we do anything, is there any other loot in here? Get ready to get attacked. Here we go. Moment of truth, baby. This one looks operational. Hey, let's go. Can't go up any higher, okay. Good work. Not sure exactly what we're doing. <laughs> Oh no. There's more stuff of it. This is the third one of these that had nothing. Okay, get off me! I actually don't mind these enemies because they didn't do that much damage and I can kill them with one pistol bullet, which is all I really wanted to do in the first place on the other enemies, too. You can throw that stuff? That's crazy. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. So, essentially, we had to keep getting it off the other one and then bring it back. Got you. So, I wonder. This is the same, okay. I'm not sure where we're going. I'm legit just like running in circles. I want to go back to the other room. Why is it glowing? I don't like that. Oh, this is like the main... Interesting. I can't take this one? Guess we're just kind of exploring the entire area. Alright, so we kind of got like a general layout now. Minus, really another one of those, nothing. And then we got this one, which we can actually move. Hold on. Oh, come on. The only one I see that I can actually hit, I would actually burn that stuff. Interesting. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. It worked. I burned both of those. I wonder if anything fell on the ground. So let's go run through that door now. Yeah, I don't think I could have taken it from the original thing. I'm gonna use the uh, machine gun for a bit. I'm assuming it's like one bullet still, but... Why does this look so freaky? Hold on. Shortcut? Okay.
I hear those like little things flying around somewhere. Okay, that one actually had something, which is insane. Like, why do the other ones not? This is the craziest looking weapon so far. Look at this thing. My dog is knocked out. My goodness. I'm like over here and having like a panic attack playing this game. He's just like in his own little happy dream. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Hey, we got the star. Key item. We'll get an extra one now. Or we got the only one we can actually carry. Now we can just, like, leave this. Go out here. Why did that move like that? It's saving. I guess the point is to get all three of those things lit up in the end. But what about all this down here, though? I want to be able to move this one. I should have been able to do that, right? Let's go back through here again. We'll figure this out over time, I'm sure. We came through here, went through this. Open up the door. Can't take that, okay. At least I know now. We still have one, though. So I don't know exactly where to put this one at because... Let's just see all the different spots really quick. Okay, it's saving again. Came up here, we could put it right here. Oh, they're, oh, they're getting burned. Oh, that's sick. I can't go left anymore. What is one bullet at least? That's good to know. It worked. Alright, so that's two of those. Nice. This part of the game is definitely not what I was expecting. When I sat down to play it today, I was like, okay, here's probably what's gonna happen. I kinda like guess before I record some games. <laughs> and then, uh... I was totally wrong about this. <laughs> I would have never have guessed this. Let's just go back all the way down. But yeah, thank you all for supporting these videos. It means a lot to me. I wasn't going to like the longer parts for this, but I felt like as much as I was getting lost and trying to figure everything out, it just made more sense to do it like this. So, much love to all of you. How do I get down again? Because your boy is lost right now. I can run back through here, I guess. Unless he doesn't let me to go... Because I can, like, try to go back under that thing, but... Let's just see if it actually works. If I can go right right here, we're chilling. Probably a faster way to get over there, but I just... I was already lost, and I knew exactly where this leads, <laughs> at least. Alright, back on the main floor. It's weird, it doesn't burn me, but it burns... The flying creatures, so. I mean, do I want to waste ammo here? I could have threw this, I just saw it. It is what it is. I wanted to use that anyways, just make sure we're good. Hold on. So you can go up top. Oh wait, what's up top here? Hold on. Cause I want to like have space for other ammo and stuff. 
All right, shortcut got you. I do not trust melee combat in this game at all, so I'm trying to avoid it when I can. Another one right here. It looks like it goes through that. Okay. It's going to reflect off of something else, maybe. Nothing again. All right. We got health. It's full, really? There we go. Not sure if I did anything right there. Now we just gotta place it to where it lights up the last area and we're chilling. It's like the same weapon everywhere. Interesting. What is down here? Why hold on, why is your blood like usually it's like where you're gonna Climb up, but why would you climb up that? That makes no sense. I'm running away from that. No, thank you. I'm good. The only one I can think of is... We got that one. We got that one. This is the only one we haven't really set up yet. I'm not sure exactly where we'd aim at that, though, because... I don't see how we could actually make it work for us. Unless we're, like, hitting this, which would light up the bottom. I don't know. Let's just run up top again. Which I wonder... The shortcut's back over here. Let's just try that. We just unlocked this. I absolutely love that this is, like... A unique style horror game, you know? We already got that one. So it's gonna be this last one over here. I could be wrong, but we'll find out. Either this works or it doesn't. <laughs> Where would this even be aimed at, though? Wait. I don't really understand, like, how. I didn't even move it anywhere. You can't really go... Maybe it, like, burn some of these other things. I don't know. I'm seeing, like, the range right now. That's as far as it goes. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to light... So I'm angling these at the door. I gotta... Now that I have three, I can just, like, angle them all to actually face the thing. The giant statue over there. Hold on. Because we don't actually have to go back there anymore. That one's done. Now we got the one on the other side. I'm hoping I didn't do one of these wrong, because I would imagine it messes up the entire puzzle. Because it takes it away afterwards, it looks like. Yeah, is this even going to reach? I mean, if I can actually go all the way over there, I'd be really surprised. Did it. Very nice. It's going back this way. We're done with that. So what do we do now? Oh, I see. Never mind. Got to go to the top of it. So we got to like go back here and go up those steps. Because we walked out there on top of like the... Yeah, like, like, like stairs right there. Um, how I got over there, though, I cannot remember. This has to be it, though. Yeah, this has to be it. I'm hoping it is. Nice dark hallway, you know, to calm my nerves. And now straight down. Gotta go. Just 
place is crumbling. Hold on. Hope I'm going the right way. I probably should have went the other direction, though. Oh my god. I gotta get out of here. Hoping this is just like cinematics and not. It's like a little chase sequence. I gotta go down this way, 100%. It's ready to collapse. What was it, eight? This is crazy. It's open now, okay. It got way too quiet just now. Was that supposed to happen or what? Psychological trauma, break through barriers of self-deceit, temper manic behavior. These are the dark man's terms. The contract. Huh? found some. Great. Was it alcohol? God, no. I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the dark man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead and maybe even the clerk. Oh, yeah. I kind of just gave up on worrying about that. Well... Just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside Dorsetto. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have to... Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around your neck. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I worry, Detective. Don't. I'm fine. I worry that you're not much help on this case. At least you're a good distraction. Trust me. You're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. All right, we're on chapter four already. All right, Dark Man's Contract, Clue. All right, nothing on the first page. The cover page, I guess, is this. <laughs> All right, acknowledge psychological trauma, break through the barriers of self Seatlessly temper, manic behavior. Oh, what's the other part say? Date of admission, 913. I wonder if that's going to come into play. We got some symbols there, too. All right. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the hardwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, doing so would be the doom of Dacetto. Let this case of mine be a weapon for once. 
I accept your demands. Oh, crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. All right, so... So I'm kind of learning everything. Dark man's contract, and we got break into Dr. Gray's office. Okay. That was a pretty wild puzzle. It was cool, though. Hold on, is there anything down here? This is like the area where you can kind of go to like the attic and stuff, I'm assuming. Well, this is the right way, never mind. Got to be around here somewhere. He wouldn't leave this house. I don't know what to think anymore. You run into that dick fella. Who is he? Can he be trusted? I think he wanted a good guy. Well, you know, not good. Will he be all right with her coming? Praise the mother. She don't need to know about all that. Just calm down. It ain't time yet. God, it hurts. As far as I can tell, Detective Combi seems to be solving problems, not causing them. Just be ready in case he starts anything. All right, so we're back in the actual manner, I guess. So here's what I'll say about it so far. I really like. We can the actually use like the original map and stuff. Let's see. Still hadn't found Jeremy. Conby figured this was good news. Emily had reminded him about some strange deaths at Deceto, and Conby wasn't sure who he could trust. Current investigation. Okay, one thing we got is like these two things. We got the dagger, which haven't looked at yet. And we got that. And here's the map. Okay. Let's see if anything's changed right now. So right now, our current objective is to break into Dr. Gray's office. Where is the office at? Hold on. Uh, Dr. Gray. There's Dr. Gray's apartment, but it's not his office, though. Unless that's... Hold on. Did it say? It says office, so let me check all the... Let's go to the bottom floor really quick. All right. So the bottom floor is pretty much completed. We got the conservatory still. But if you look, like, everything else is blue, so we've already completed, like, that floor. There it is. Okay. So, going to the first floor. Got you. Alright. Time to get Jeremy out of that contract so we can get the hell out of here. Something tells me I'm gonna have to put my talisman to use. We could actually go, because this is all gonna be locked. Empty room there. Stairwell's behind us, so let's just go back through. I like this game a lot. I really want to see the other perspective, like, what will actually be different, you know? Like, what would actually change if we're... I don't know. I just want to see, like, the other angles and stuff. Is there really, like, one way? Hold on. Can we... Hold on, let me see if we can actually go all the way up. I thought it was blocked, or we just can't go any further. Yeah, it's like... So they want us to kind of go like the long scenic route to actually get to Dr. Gray's office. Very cool concept though. I can kind of see why it was like the pioneer of horror games back then. Okay, dining room, we can actually go to the stairs right here. But Dr. Gray's office is to our right. So how do we get... I guess we gotta go down. Take the other stairs? That wouldn't make any sense. I'm assuming like some stuff's just gonna be blocked. Alright, basement's below us, so... Oh my god. Christ, what the hell was that? So this is kind of like set up to where you have to go venture around a little bit. 
We've explored these other ones, we haven't completed them. Like, what else is in here that we haven't gotten? Oh, another clue! Okay, so there's more stuff now in these other rooms. We must have faith that Jeremy's pact with the Dark Man is a bluff. If we are lucky, our visitors will find him and prove it's all nonsense before night falls. What is true is our attempt to call on her. Too many things have happened for this evening to be in vain. Think of Jack and Cassandra. Even Perosi, whose circumstances I can't understand. Grace is a goat without horns. She knows it and will play the role. You must talk to your brother, Batiste. I worry that he will fail us. Mrs. Thompson. I don't like that growling noise I just heard. Alright, so this is actually completed. So we have... WC is right here. Hold on. Yeah, it's this room. What is even in here that we don't have? Wait. Hey! Broken spectacles. <laughs> yeah, we got 5 out of 15. That's actually crazy. We've gotten so many. So this is not really a long horror game by any means. But I like it because it's not going to overstay its welcome at least. Alright, so this should be blue now. I'm just going to go like room to room. We got the library. Other side right here. This is the one that had like the... Wait, what is this? Another clue. Lunacy in the Astarte Artist Colony. A monograph by Yael Klein. In early 1909, the old... Yeah, I'm gonna stop that so I can actually like just scroll and look. Monograph, okay. Feel free to pause it if you... Yeah, feel free to pause it if you need to. Because I'm just kind of... Vibing out reading anyways. I could have just let it play, but I felt like... It didn't really make sense. Because it would be here for like a couple minutes probably. Oh, so it's talking about the name of the area. Okay, the Greek name. Fertility Goddess. Okay, plantation. Not an accident. Okay, so it's a little bit of lore on the actual place we're in and stuff. Cult activity on the grounds. Okay, I can read that later on too when I'm editing. Perfect. Alright, so we got the small parlor. Hold on. Let's look in this room really quick. I know we're... S hmm. Somebody's talking over there, so... It's a drawing room. Huh. What is this? Oh, so the last three were all 0 at 3. And now they're like... We had three of them at least. Interesting. This is the shotgun room. Okay. This is all blue. So we're currently just making our way down. Um, I was just kind of hitting up a few rooms along the way. Okay. So Dr. Gray's office. How do we even get down there? I have no idea. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we... Yeah, conservatory maybe. Right? We go out through here. Thing is, this is... Wait. We don't have everything here yet. Hold on, let me look around. See if anything has popped up since we were last here.
That was kind of creepy. So what are we missing even, like... Usually, if it's like this color, we gotta find some kind of object at least. Oh, wait. It just changed to blue. I don't know what. How did it change, though? I don't, I don't understand that at all. That's where you can't use the map in light. Like right here, I can't use the map. Let's see. Right here. There we go. So, what I could do is. Okay, now. Oh, wait a minute. So it counts as two floors, got you. It's blue right here, so on this floor, we don't have everything. Which is fine, I guess, but... I'm not trying to go for, like, the perfect 100% completion on the first try, because I don't think we can do that. Because we got to play as the other character anyways. Let me check around the tree and stuff. I don't see any icons or anything. We got the door right there that goes to the laundry room. Um, how do we get down there? Here's what I'm thinking we do. We go to the kitchen garden and cut across. We got like the ladder as a shortcut. We could try that. This should be blue. Yeah, okay, it is. And then I think we take a shortcut right here. But I think this other side on the left is locked. Let's try it though. Yeah, it's blocked off right there. Interesting. So they're kind of forcing you to actually go out of your way a little bit. What was that? I just heard like that noise. What? All right. So reception. Clerk's office, we got treatment as well. Okay. We got the bell right here. Hold on. There must be a bare key to Dr. Gray's office in here somewhere. This is that safe back here, isn't it? Yep. I never figured I this one out. Combination for this. Maybe Jeremy did. Anything with Jeremy's stuff on it? Let's see. Nothing. Let me just like look really quick. Look for any kind of numbers or anything, <laughs> you know. Uh, let's look at this one. Driver's license. I'm looking at, like, the pictures, too. Hold on. Because this should have been, like, something we could have done in, like, chapter... What was it? Chapter... One or two when it was, like, first here? Not even sure what's actually in here, but whatever. I'm not going to get everything the first time. It is what it is. This should be locked. Yeah. I need the key. It's got to be in the safe, right? Like, it has to be. Hmm. Yeah, I would assume it's got to be this safe. This is like our way to get some kind of progression for... Because it doesn't say solvable. It just has like the little white puzzle icon. So I'm really not sure. Um, now we... Hold on, wait a minute. We could go to Jeremy's room. That's another idea. Let's go there first, because it is pink, it's not blue. Let's go search the other rooms really quick. Yeah, because these other ones are going to be locked. So when we go up here, we can just go straight up. We're going to be in the gallery, which is not 100%. All those rooms around are also pink or purple, whatever that is. I have a tough time seeing, like, certain shades of, like, red and stuff. Like, red, orange, a lot of stuff looks a lot... The same to me for some reason. I'm not really sure what it's called. Is there anything here? Is it's like it doesn't say 100% in this area. Like it's still a different color. Almost feels like there's something behind that. 
All right. Well, let's start looking around, I guess. Jeremy's room first. Here we go. We came in here with the trunk. We got that. Anything else? Anything at all? Here we go. This has to have a combination. It has to. Bombay. I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. I have destroyed that eater of worlds and locked it away in the attic and retreated to a place of hiding. Tell Emily I'm safe. Tell her all the lies you can think of to make her listen. Take her back to New Orleans. Sincerely, Jeremy. That didn't help us. Well, we got everything in here. Let's try the other rooms, I guess. I don't like how he hesitated. This hallway gives me the creeps. Brother, I need you to trust me. This is the most important moment in our family's history. I know you have doubts and that the terrible Mama Loa told you lies. I would never betray you. I promise. Lottie. It's kind of cool all the rooms are actually updated. You know? Alright, let's go back across the other side. I hate this hallway so much. <laughs> stuff covered in... I guess, like, just drapes and stuff. Or not drapes, but like, just blankets and whatever they put over it, like rugs and stuff. Detective Conby. Good to see you again. Solved your case yet? I'm trying. Hey, Grace, you okay? Oh, she is just peachy, Detective. Are you looking forward to the Feast of St. John, Grace? I can't wait. Kids, ain't they great? What exactly are you planning for tonight? Oh, not much. We eat, we drink. A tribute to the wishing tree in the conservatory. The usual. Then why all the excitement? There is just something about tonight. Something is different. I think we all feel it. Besides, we got ourselves some new words for the prayer thanks to your buddy Jeremy. She'll come and turn the world inside out. And things will begin again. That sounds strangely threatening. You should come. Oh, God damn it, Grace. Stay put for once. There's like a most random set of cutscenes ever. All right. First floor hall key. Nice. Better hold on to these. Wouldn't want them to get lost. There's something missing. That's a puzzle. I don't know how you actually do anything with okay. Let's actually loot down here, because we had this room, we also got Grace's room to our right. Which should have something else. Oh the scary dolls. Oh my god. Oh, it's like drawings. Okay. Wait, did I just pick that up? It said full. Like, why would it say that, though? Looks like I gotta put it somewhere. Okay, this is another puzzle, so we can come back here. It's missing two drawings. Okay. Hmm. Not gonna be in this chapter for a while, if I had to guess. We got the other room as well, which is this one. I believe this is right. Yep. Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number three. The room seemed to have been empty for so long. But that wasn't allowed to be true. The story needed to be different. To include something from the outside. 
He would bring the guest back to room three and show them what was in that safe. Nine, one, three. But those were not the right numbers. That was the combination for the safe in the clerk's office. Well, we now know that. Three out of three. Forbidden knowledge. Let's see. I'm gonna, I think before the end of the game, or even like after the game, I'm gonna go back through and like look at all these. That way people can like actually see them. Because I'm collecting a lot of these right now. So I got the little thing here, which is the... Why can you interact with this? Okay, this area is blue. We're chilling. Somebody actually, I saw the most random comment. I'm not sure where I saw it, but it was like, what's my biggest fear? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> if I'd have to, I'd have to think about it. Probably dying alone be like the most morbid one, I guess. Um, what else? I'm really not sure. I was in a tornado back in 2000, and I remember, uh, we can unlock that hall too. Nice. Remember after it happened, I became like numb to everything for a while. It was kind of weird. It wasn't like depression. It was more like uh, I wasn't afraid, you know? <laughs> uh, so, but ever since then, it kind of wore off. And then now that I have kids, my life has changed so much. It's like I try not to like really think about that type of stuff. All right. 913. Let's see. Do we know, like, which way we're supposed to go? Nine. One. Three. Let's reset again. Hold on. Alright, so do we know if it's... Let me look at the note really quick. Hold on. McCarthy, it's 913, it? but... So we're in the clerk's office, room number three, Jeremy. It just says 913, so I don't know. Let's try it again, I guess. Nine. One. There it we go. Worked. I used to have a safe like that. Okay, Dr. Gray's office key. Nice, we're making progress. The last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. I must write this down, because if I understand the condition sufficiently, it could make me deny this fact at a later date. And there is reason for me to think I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction, as some who came in contact with the guest seem to adopt a new worldview in which everything was predetermined but broken. Upon accepting this worldview, some memories became unmanageable and later rejected. I do not know what this means. I cannot even remember the fate of the guest. I think they were simply misplaced one day and forgotten. Uh, just like all documents pertaining to this guest, they have all been destroyed or they never existed in the first place. Who wrote this? There has never been a guest in the empty room. That's interesting, okay. All right, this should be green now, or it's not, okay. Wait, it says solvable still, like, did I not? I don't know, the puzzle piece is still there, which is kind of weird. Maybe it's because this is the puzzle is actually completing Dr. that. Gray. Hold on. Dr. Gray's office, all to myself. Let's see if we can figure this guy out. I have finished tidying up Miss Beauregard's belongings. I will leave it to you to contact her agent and have them collect her things. I found one of Grace's drawings she might want back, along with this key in her room, which I believe you've been looking for. Mrs. Thompson. And that looks like one of the 
Yeah, the pieces we actually put on the globe. All right. There's a drawing. This is where McCarthy has hidden my favorite young. It's very important. Man, we're getting so many keys right now. My goodness. Hold on, what else is in here? Typewriter. Dearest Dr. Manzetti, I find myself in a losing battle with my patient. As I've disclosed in my previous letter, his delusions have him completely captured. It's bad enough that he is torturing himself with paranoia, but his madness turns out to be quite persuasive to others, effectively laying the ground for mass delusion. I am writing to you in hope that you can give me some guidance. Beyond my ambition to avoid devastating surgery on my patient, I have grown worried about my own defenses. The words of my patient are deranged, yet they often resonate with something primitive within me. I have tried photographing his brain with x-rays. It was surprisingly difficult to get good results. Dark blotches on the plates kept obscuring all details. My patient looked at the bad plates and cried out in terror, telling me the dark areas was the shadow of the worm eating him from inside. I could not see anything out of the ordinary. I hope this is a sign that my mind is not as receptive to the madness as I had feared. After further inquiry, my patient described the shadows inside his mind as some kind of chthonic monstrosity that wants to undermine his sanctuary. This is clearly a reference to a place he calls Teroea, a sort of library or convent that works as a psychological haven. With this imaginary haven threatened by this chthonian, he has now constructed another less pleasant hiding spot. Lately, he has been bringing up a metaphor of a steamboat that has run aground, that he feels like he needs to start the engines and reverse, but he is afraid that the hole in the hull would cause the whole ship to sink. I've been watching him turn this metaphor into reality for the last week. He knows it's made up, but he is doubling down, trying to make it a real memory. I feel certain that this is my chance to break through the barriers of his self-deceit. Thought I would let certain ones play that seem more intriguing than others. If it's like five pages of somebody's past, it's a little different. Versus something like this. Jeremy's treatment seems like it's pretty severe, you know. Alright, look for Jeremy's x-ray plates. What does it say? We got a couple things here, right? So chapter four is already like much larger on a scale. <laughs> It's like chapter two, kind of. Then chapter three was more of like one little area. This is like all over. Okay. We got drawings. Take a look inside the empty room. All right. So this area is done. We also, I don't know why this clerk office thing is like. Hold on. Treatment room. Here we go. For the x rays and stuff. Forbidden knowledge, okay. Whoa. What the? Uh, I'm so confused. What? Well, so why is this clerk thing not done? And it still has the puzzle piece back here. Like, what are we missing exactly? Is there like another puzzle in the corner that I didn't see or did I not collect everything? Maybe it will complete once I, I guess, use everything. But that was to get Dr. Gray's office key, so I don't really know. That's just something else on the ground I didn't see. Uh, hold on. So far, nothing. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it is what it is, you know? So let's go out here and... It's actually the wrong way. All right. How many keys do we have right now? 
We got the first floor hall key. We got... Oh, yeah, the globe thing. Where's that puzzle at again? It should be green now. Stairwell is actually unlockable now, which is nice. Grace's room. That's actually the drawings. We don't have all the drawings. We're missing one more, I think. This should be the right one. What? No, no, no. Like, for real? Hold on. Is he gonna pop back out, or what are we doing? McCaffrey's room. Hold on. Surprisingly neat. Maybe I've been selling that old barfly short. What is going on here? It's like McCarthy has something hidden inside. I don't have anything for that. Sometimes, I think this place makes me worse. That Dossetto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostentatious architecture. A Taj Mahal for the drunken depressed. There's something about Dossetto. Something about Dr. Gray. Like we all pretend that we're here to get better. When in fact we are here to be forgotten. Alright, let's keep it going. Is this room done? Hold on, let's see. Nope, we still got the... Puzzle back over here. I don't know how this is gonna be There's solved yet. Has something hidden inside. I'm assuming we get like... A flat head? I don't know. And then just like... Or maybe the... You know what's funny? I played a horror game recently where you have to use like a coin to escape. A coffin. Maybe a coin. <laughs> I don't know. All right, next room. Okay, so we got the empty room as well. So he just like popped up and then went away. Is there anything in here? Hold on. Seems like we're chilling. I've enjoyed this game a lot. Like, to a point where I can't wait to actually see the other... I guess the other parts of the story. So this is a different type of thing. So this is blue now. Okay, never mind. Let's go to the empty room where that person came out. Hold on. I might die here. Get ready. Hey, it's locked. And we have a... Bar area. Oh, the grand parlor. Okay. So right now, what we could do... Uh, we could go back to the globe, put this on. We got the stairwell key, which is the only key we currently have right now. What does this say again? Oh, the trust me thing. We also got this. Hmm. Yeah, because that... The figure came out of the empty room. And now it's locked again, which I'm assuming... Yeah, we need a key for that. Okay. That's good to know at least. Take this much more. This has to end. I mean, I'm assuming the only way to really get out of here now, because current objectives are the missing drawings. We can't get inside the empty room. And we gotta go to the infirmary. Which is. Oh, it's on the really the ground level. Okay. We have never been in any of those rooms, I don't think. You know what? It's gotta all deal through the stairwell. Okay. Let's try that. Is this the right way? Yes, it is. Here we go. Couple options here. What just happened? That was weird. It's like the game just like... It's like it transitioned almost. That was odd. I don't know. It's like I got out here and it just like said, Hey, here's a different cut for you, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this area at all. Is that blood? Oh, it is.
All right, giant red door. I think it's red. Here we go. So now we're on that area where looking for clues. It says key, but it doesn't doesn't let you like try to select anything. Hey, let's go. One out of three. Oh wait. So we're done with that one. It's where the jack in the box I couldn't collect it earlier, which is odd. But then, like the second time around, I can, which is. Oh God. I need the key. Need Radiography. Patient Jeremy Hartwood. Date, June 14, 1930. Plates. Jeremy's skull proved difficult to capture properly. Partial radiographs worked best. A complete picture of the brain can be assembled by piecing three plates together. Observations. Even when looking at an assembled version, a shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain. Possible tumor, but more likely that the equipment is failing. Jeremy reacted strongly to the pictures and claimed to see a giant clay worm eating and displacing his memories. Notes. While this exercise has left me nowhere closer to an answer, I feel confident that a Burkhart lobotomy should sever all necessary parts. Lobotomy just sounds terrifying. My god. Hypothetical psychosurgery based on the ideas by Burkhart and the St. Petersburg research could end up saving Jeremy's mind. Several I'm gonna just like stop it there. I don't know what it is, but the fact that it even exists is an, an insane thing to me. I know like medicine and all that stuff wasn't really, I guess, well advanced back then, but still. Yikes. There's the x-rays. We got a fuse thing. Hold on. Surgery room key. All right. There's one of the pieces too. What is this? Key item, electrical fuse. Okay. We still got a map for this area, so we still got the puzzle there. Hold on, what part of the room am I in right now? Okay, let's actually just go to the surgery room because it's right across the hall. Nope, that's a different one. Here's the other piece of that. That's number one. We got number two and number one now. Nice. I'll probably take a little break here soon. So I played parts two and three back to back, like all at once. And I'm kind of doing the exact same thing with, uh... Let me open this door. Oh, that's a locked one. Never mind. I've kind of the exact same thing with this, so I'm not sure what part number we're on right now, but... It's like when I play this game, I just get so involved into it, you know? Basically stealing that. Nice. Don't mind if I do. This room's not done yet? Okay. Are we missing anything? Because I don't see any other... things in here. The fact that this is even like a chair they'd put you on. my And the drain too. Yikes. Maybe we could come back through here once the lights are on. All right, so we're going back to the laboratory. Yeah, this is a wild area. For it to be a part of like your house, that's insane. <laughs> uh. Oh, we gotta get them all green, okay.
What? There we go. That's better. Uh, okay, it says remove all plates. It's kind of odd, so I can rotate. This looks like it's on the bottom, or actually... Yeah, I think it goes on the bottom. Can I move? Hold on. I, it wasn't... I can't, like, freely choose where it actually goes, which is weird. Okay, so we know that this is going to go on the bottom because of the actual... It doesn't let me, like, choose... Hold on, let me undo these. Alright, so... There's three spots, essentially. Hold on. That feels like it's kind of right. This may work, I don't know. If I don't figure this out, hold on, let me see something really quick. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's try the other one. I don't know if it's supposed to be like exact or what. That is strange. I can't like... Hold on, let me back up really quick. Dr. Investigation. Let's see... Okay. So by uh, piecing three plates together. Okay. Um, a shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain. Possibly a tumor. Okay. I'm just curious really quick. It seems pretty straightforward. Like, why am I not... This has to be the right one, because it's got the green on there, too. So maybe rotate this around a little bit. Now, I am assuming the bottom one is right. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hold on. I've been on this part for a minute. I'm just not sure exactly how to... I mean, like, am I doing it wrong, or... Like, I feel like that's... Oh, wait. What is that? Jeremy's darkness. Hold on. What? Well, that was weird. I was like, we gotta only use three of these, I thought. And then I just couldn't figure it out, so... Alright, what's next? Uh, find a fuse for the circuit breaker. Okay, that's in the infirmary, which is where we are right now. Okay. I haven't fought anything in a minute, and I feel like we're kind of due for some combat, you know? <laughs> I didn't see anything else in here. Alright, so this is blocked. This is also blocked, okay. Okay. Let's check them again before we roll out. Let me check something really quick. Because this cuts through and it's like... Why would this not be a different color? Like, I feel like we've already done everything in here. Unless we're going to come back like later on? I don't know. Nothing over here either. Alright, let's get out of here. Surgery room, we got... 
Everything's locked on here, okay. That's pretty much all we can do down here, I feel like. Okay, so take a look inside the empty room. We can't do that. Find the rest of the statuette. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Grace's missing drawing. Hence, infirmary. Find a fuse for the circuit breaker. I won't wait. Can we actually take the fuses out of that thing? You know, we like had them. So we can't undo this. Okay. Once this is on, it stays on. Got you. This is like the first time in the entire game I'm actually kind of confused on where to go. Let's just start heading up. Or not. Uh. What is going on? Can I go up? What oh my god. Happening? What am I supposed to do? We gotta move! Okay, this is supposed to be like an event type thing. Got you. Oh my god. Keep it moving. actually go here now. Huh. Alright, first time being up here. And we're back here. Well, perfect time to have a look around this place. He said we're back here, but we've never been in the attic before. At least not that I remember. Huh. One out of three. Prisoner of Ice. Okay. That's a cool looking box. 641. What? Uh. I can't rotate. Okay. But I can move them left and right. Not sure if I'm doing this right or not. All right, six, four, one. I could have sworn I just saw like double fours and stuff. So it was like a rope or a noose or whatever. There it is. Hold on. Is there anything else up here? So we can actually hop down. Interesting. Right, so what is the purpose of this? It was just showing us like what happened maybe? I don't know. Really have no idea. We're supposed to hop down. Here we go. Where I thought we were. Maybe we're supposed to use the rope for hopping down, which doesn't really make sense because it's not that far away. Uh, I'm not sure. 
I thought, okay, we got blood. Okay, you are supposed to hop down. Why did it, like, not give me the option a minute ago? No, it's this. This is where Jeremy's hiding, right? Hello? Is anyone there? Jeremy? I need help! Wait. Can you hear me? I'm stuck in the mud and the fire is taking me. Jeremy, where are you? The motor is dead. I can't do anything more. Hang on, Jeremy. I'll figure something out. I'll get the boat running. Very interesting. All right. I think I'll probably take a break here in a minute. I need to take my dogs out. We'll grab like a next thing here. Nothing there. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're about to hop in there. Yeah, let me just uh, take a little break. I'm guessing this is locked as well. It's not. Okay. Let me just look really quick before we roll. Okay. What the? What in the world? Get off me. I can't even see. Okay. I thought it was like a cutscene or something. I had no idea what just happened. That scared me so bad. Yeah, I'm not ready for this area yet. Hold on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a little break. We got to this boat and I'm just kind of like zoning out a little bit. I need to take my dogs out and stuff and I also feel like I should probably get some sleep. So, <laughs> I had a lot of fun with this game up to this point. I will be finishing it very soon. And thank you all for watching. All the likes and everything mean a lot to me as well. And I guess on that note, I will catch you in the next video. Much love and take it easy.